Yeah. Heck, man. American Pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Hello, all my fellow junkers, junkies, dumpster divers. Hey, hey, she's live. <laughs> all you dang thrifties and, and, and scavengers. Trash pickers. Trash pickers. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So anyway, this morning, man, I thought I, I haven't done a um, mountain junkers. You know, I started off. This thing looks dark today, but I started off doing a, uh, you know, doing the metal detecting videos on the mountain junkers. I've been having mental, <laughs> mental emotions of where I want to put what or whatever. You know, running two channels, man. Running one channel is enough. Running two's a sometimes it's a dang nightmare. But anyway, I've decided to put, I'm going to do, because that goes right along with all our outdoor stuff and our fishing and our mushroom hunting, you know, because no matter what we're doing, man, we're treasure hunters. Always have been, always will be. So I've decided, so the ones, so if you're on here to watch the metal detecting, you can go over to Idaho Hillbilly, the link's down below. And that's where the metal detecting ones, and we're just going to use this one the way I have been, you know, showing the what's sold and taking you out when we go out to, um... You know, flea markets, junk sales, show you what we've, you know, just the sales part at end of it and stuff. So, anyway, I thought I'd show a few things that we uh, sold overnight. And you can go over to Idaho Hillbilly and I talk about it more, but uh, you hear Miss Kitty in the background. She's laid up with her leg in the air because she was thinking she was 15 again. And we went out roller skating. I wasn't all hip and excited about it, but she was. So I was putting my skates on. She already had hers. And then I hear yelling, Mom! Mom's down! And she made it two loops or something. Is that what you made it? Yeah. <laughs> two loops. So she ended up tearing her, uh, what the heck's it called? Your hamstring. She tore her hamstring. She's hobbling around here, so that ain't no good. Then I asked her, because they're going to do another skating party for TNT's birthday. But if she does it again, I got my uh, walker that I got, if I don't get it down to my mom. But we're going to pick up a few walkers. And so these old, these old ladies that think that they're 15, they can go around there with a walker and skate. Okay. <laughs> my aunt wants to do it. My aunt broke it, broke her butt. Because me and my aunt, grew, we've all grown up. The last time I ever had skates on until yesterday... I was 15. And it's the same for Kitty. Um, and my aunt, probably, she's probably 17 or 18. And we grew up, me and my aunt grew up together. And we uh, we skated every Friday and Saturday night for my whole life. But uh, And I thought I'd just put those things on. I'll tell you what, I did a loop and a half. You know, went and checked on Miss Kitty. <laughs> as I scoot over there, basically crawled up to her. And uh, checked on her. And then I got up and kind of... Um, I don't, didn't really do a loop. I just kind of went. But anyway, so you can go over, man. I talk a little bit more about it over at Idaho Hillbillies. You can check it out over there. Oh, I was going to show. I ended up picking up on, you can see those two. I showed these, but I picked up a couple more of the, uh, you know, the steel cutouts. Idaho with Sasquatch. Those will be getting put on as soon as I get some pictures of them. You can see the big Sasquatch up there. He's a cutout, too. I haven't decided if I'm going to sell him or not. I really want a life-size one. But uh, if I do keep him, I'm probably going to let him sit, go outside and get rusted up. I think it would add, you know, rust is a must, man. I'm going to show a few things that we uh, sold. I ain't going to have Miss Kitty here to grab it, so I better look around where I'm going to put it. But, so here's a few things that sold overnight. What are you doing, boy? Some packages oh yeah, man! I'll be, he's getting his uh, AT Max is coming today, so he's pretty excited about that. He's been buying. But it wasn't supposed to be here until Wednesday, and I need to get the details on here because somebody had asked me on the other channel about uh, where we had bought ours. So I need to get that stuff over there. But anyway, so we got a vintage left in Japan Cupy baby doll planter. Pretty dang cute. It sold for $36, two cents, shirped. That was on sale. And then we've got a, I don't know 
about that. Uh, Sunbody, palm leaf, cowboy hat. Seven and three eighths, cattleman style, which I was noticing when I brought it in. You know, it's cattleman style, but they've got the the they got it backwards as far as they've been. But you can reshape, man. You can wet these down, reshape them very easy. It sold for twenty seven dollars forty two cents. Sherped. Next we have this. Uh, this was on, or no? I think I took an offer on this. This was a vintage Good Luck Horseshoe Aloha Hawaii, which I thought was pretty crazy for, you know, this looks like something you get for Vegas, but, but this is Hawaii, and it sold for $20.89, shirped. Next, we have a vintage cast iron Wall wood stove matchbox holder. Right off of an old cabin. In the Idaho Mountains. And it sold for $22.12. Shirped. This thing. I just love this little thing. Man, very well made. Somebody had like put some. It's almost got like a zinc lining thing over it or whatever, man. A little handmade vintage copper zinc dipped smelting pot dovetail hand hammered bucket pail. Pretty damn, I mean, it is quality made, man. And it sold for $26.66. Sure. And then we have a Sony Walkman. I don't sell a lot of electronics and stuff, but Sony Walkman WM FX33 Mega Bass or Bass Mega Bass cassette and radio tested works great. And it sold for $39.76 shipped. That was a uh, that's not too bad, man. That's uh stuff sold while my wife was out breaking her hindquarters. <laughs> It's terrible. So sad. How you doing in there, Miss Kitty? Good. Yeah. All right. I got her all propped up, dosing her up. Dosing her up with some ibuprofen, ice packs. She'll be all right, hopefully before mushroom season. We're getting close to that, man, first day of spring. It is raining, snow mix out there right now. Um, don't know what the temps are. It's cold. And we got, what, five, four weeks, about a month? We don't usually find about the 19th of April, I think, is what the... So it's coming, man. We'll be out mushroom hunting over there at Idaho Hillbillies. So go over there and check that out. Check out the t-shirts and all that jazz down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And that's it. Do you have anything you want to talk about on the cell front? No, not today. <laughs> and just, uh, I'm going to be doing some list, list, list. And got sell, 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 man. I've been, I got so much stuff going on, I can hardly keep... Keep it straight. So remember, keep your eye on the skyline and your nose to the wind. And if you're out there treasure hunting, I hope you find some color in the bottom of your pan. See ya.